Hi there, it's Vicki Booten here, excited to share a project I created using Paige Evans' Pick Me Up line in we kind of did a collaboration where Paige used some of my Vicki Booten mixed media and then I used some of her products to create some projects. And this is what I created using her cup files and some Vicki Booten art crayons in a variety of colors. So let me kind of run through what we did here. I use one of Paige's cup files. This is Feathers or Leaves. And um, I created a bunch of leaves and then chose art crayon colors that I wanted to use to do a watercolor background. So the colors I chose were um, pigments that matched the paper line. And I used some individually and also blended the colors to create uh, pigments that would actually match the colors in Paige's product line. So I matched some or mixed some purple and red here to create a deeper uh, purpley red like in Paige's product and then just kind of kissed it to some of the die cut shapes. And I continued this with a variety of different colors so I could have um, a bunch of different leaves or feathers in this case that would match the paper line. Once the feathers were all watercolored, I wanted to add another layer of interest. So I went ahead and created two new colors with the art crayons to create some paint drops. This is a great way to add another layer of detail or texture to the feathers. And I went ahead and added a red and a navy. And then to finish up the feathers, I went ahead and added the second layer of detail with um, from the silhouette file and uh, ran it through my Xyron X. I find that this is super helpful when trying to layer finicky little bits with adhesive. So I just pulled it through here and then went ahead and uh, gave the feather shape a good rub to make sure the adhesive is in place, peeled off the top, and then rub any excess adhesive off of the die cut. I did this with all of the die cuts and I found it was super quick and it is a great way to adhere thin little layers on your die cuts. So I went ahead and completed all of those shapes. And then to add a little bit of interest, I used one of my stencils with some gold glaze to create a textured background. The gold also added a little bit of uh, sparkle to the background. And then to finish it off, I put a few more of the little paint drops and then started to build the layout by adding some pattern paper and uh, in nice coordinating colors. These colors worked really well with the painted background on the feathers. And then started placing the feathers. I love die cuts because they're kind of cheap and cheerful and they're so versatile. So I just kind of built um, the pattern up the right side of the layout and went ahead and adhered those in place and added some 3D uh, foam squares to pop some of those up because I like to have a lot of dimension. And I love how this turned out. Those feathers were perfect for this layout. And then I grabbed my photo and some embellishments. I used a lot of the die cuts and stickers from Paige's Pick Me Up line, and I love these washi uh, strips. So I went ahead and added one to the bottom. It has some gold, and I love the scalloped edge. And then layered my photo of Devin in New York City with some of the die cuts. Love how this is turning out and then went ahead and put a little strip, a banner strip, to put my title on because I love the thickers in this line and that metallic uh, Marvelous is perfect. So I went ahead and added the NYC because this was a trip that we took to New York City and we went searching for lots of murals in the city. So it's perfect with the color palette um, with this paper line, with the Pick Me Up line. And I went ahead and just added some die cuts lots of foam squares and stickers and did a nice cluster. I love to cluster my details. So, and added a butterfly because there always has to be a butterfly in my projects. I love how this came together. Here's a closer look and make sure to check out Paige's projects as well using Vicky Boot Mixed Media. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.